What's up guys, McRaptor here, back in Dark Souls 3. This time we're doing a very, very awesome cheese for the Nameless King. If you've ever struggled beating the Nameless King, which you probably have because you're watching this video, uh, do not struggle anymore. The main thing that you need to do before you come into this fight is you need to have, ideally, a plus 10 bow. It doesn't matter which one. I prefer the Black Bow of Ferris for this fight. You can use the Composite Bow, you can use the Long Bow, it doesn't matter. Um, ideally, upgraded to plus 10, I guess it could be plus 8 or plus 9, it would just make the fight take a little bit longer, but either way, pick one that works well with your build and uh, come into the Nameless King fight. Of course, you're going to fight the King of Storm in phase 1, and you're just going to kite him around from like front to back of the boss arena, right? So you're just going to do what we're doing here. You're going to just take some pot shots at him, and um, as soon as he gets close, you can just kind of go towards the other side, or when he charges like that, you can just go through his legs and continue to knock shots off into him. Uh, having the Hawk Ring is helpful. It does give you extra range, and the nice thing about the Ferris Bow is that it is a very long-range bow as well. So even if you're far away, you still do pretty decent damage. Also recommend bringing in the Feather Arrows because they, again, have very long range and do decent damage on this fight. Uh, we're not super high soul level here, around 70 or so, and we're doing a lot of damage with the Dex build using the Black Bow of Ferris, Hawk Ring, uh, you know, the standard stuff, guys. So, phase one hopefully isn't a big challenge for you anyway. It's not really the, the hard part. Phase two is the big part that really uh, gets a lot of people killed on the Nameless King. Uh, since you're not really going to take any damage in phase two, you can use the, the uh, Flint's Ring, which gives you extra damage when you have less equipment on. And you can just dump your equipment here because you're going to kite him around the entire room. Really, the only way that you could die in phase two using a bow like this is if you screw up your positioning or you get hit by these shockwaves here. So the first one you need to roll uh, towards it and the second one you need to roll right or left. Sometimes he'll he'll just do the uh, one version of that wave attack. It doesn't matter. Just dodge through him. As long as you have a little extra health, if you get hit by it, you probably won't die in one shot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing is just to stay away from him the entire time. As you can see, his boss AI is really bad. See, there's a single wave attack there. Uh, it's, it's a little bit fast, and so you do, do have to dodge quickly, but not really a big deal. We're just literally going to keep him at range this entire time. We will show in this fight what happens when you're uh, not, keep, not keeping him at range properly, and you have to get back into position. But really, this is like the easiest boss in all of Dark Souls 3, as long as you have a bow. I don't think there's any other boss in this game that's easier. Um, so right, right right, here, we were a little too close, and so we charged in. Uh, you do have to be careful of the boss arena itself. You, you can't see the walls on it, right? But, but there are limits to how far you can run. And so you just have to have kind of an awareness of your surroundings. Uh, but it's this is like th the stupidest easy fight on Earth. It's funny, if you were to go on Reddit and search for like the boss in Dark Souls 3 that people struggle on the most is probably the Nameless King, maybe Madir. Um, but this is like <laughs> actually the stupidest, easiest fight in the entire game of Dark Souls 3, as long as you have a bow. And technically, you don't need an upgraded one. You would just need a couple stacks of arrows. But um, I do recommend trying to get a plus 10 bow, which you can easily do at this stage of the game. There's multiple slabs, mul multiple ways to get chunks. Uh, so there's no reason not to come in with a plus 10. And if you're going into the Ring City DLC, there's some cool things you can do with a bow there too. So might as well get something upgraded. I hope this video was helpful. If you can't beat Nameless King now, I don't know what to say, guys. This is like so easy, you know, like 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 literally your grandma could do it. I, I, I promise you. So just give it a shot and hope the guy was helpful. See you on the next one.